Palestinian part, because it's really a dilemma how you balance all those three. Today, I'd like to address some of these challenges. I tell you, only when you have the same future business-wise, the same future, the same bottom line, only then that you'll be able to say, yes, we will make the investment. Because only through a successful joint venture will you be able to say, my bottom line is the same. My market is the same. You know, the challenges that we face are the same. That will allow us to collaborate on bringing new sources of energy, collaborate on cleaning the energy that we have today, and collaborate in a real sense uh, of how to ensure that we at least minimize the impact of the environment. Unfortunately, $150 oil made a lot of projects possible, made everything possible. And now, $40 oil, a lot of things are no longer possible. But they're no longer possible in the short term. fluctuation is because there is a very tight supply and demand situation. We're seeing very, and because there, for a long time there has been no investment in the supply side. And that's my fear today. If this, if we go back to the era of non-investment in the supply side, I can tell you verbatim that the cloudy day will pass, and I can tell you that we will have sunshine again, and I can tell you economic growth will happen again. And when it does, we better have the supply. Because if we don't, we're going to find ourselves in $150 again, in a hurry. And that's my fear. Uh, now the next question is, what's a reasonable, what's a reasonable price for this commodity? And it's very, very difficult. You know, uh, you know, trying to find something that is economical for a consuming country, and at the same time allows a producing country to meet their financial uh, responsibilities. At the same time, you need to see what impact will all this have on the environment. So it's becoming much more complicated. It's becoming very, very challenging. But I can tell you that uh, nowadays, I would say 50 to 60 oil prices will sound more reasonable. Uh, but I, I know that we're not going to be, we're not going to find stability in, in food or oil prices. and we're going to have to be agile to work to respond quickly. 